Hello and welcome to the course. In today's lecture, we will learn about a very important function that is filter. So the filter function takes two parameters. The first parameter is the table and the second parameter is the filter expression that you need to evaluate. Filter function filter the table under current filter context. So it's very important to remember this point under current filter context. And the second is it does not change the filter context. So let's do it by using Power BI Desktop. Uh, here is the data view. So we have to open, we have to click uh, modeling and then we can click here new table. It's a dynamic table. So here we have to write a one table like we can write um, red color products for example this one and uh, here we have to write filter the first parameter is the table and the table we need to give here product the second parameter is we have to filter so we can say color is equal to red so that's it hit enter and here you can see we have a table which with the color um, red so here uh, so th that's how you can use the filter function but how we can use this filter filter function when we need to create a measure so let's do it we can click here uh, my measure table and um, then we have to click new measure and here we can write like custom sales or the filter sale and uh, here we can write um, some x and the first column is is the table and as I told you the filter is itself a table function so here we have to write filter and the the first column is again table the, what is the table is table we can provide here for example sales and uh, the expression is um, sales amount greater than for example 3000 and then we have to write here sales amount multiply by uh, sales price then we have to close hit enter so here you can see the first parameter that we have to provide to the sum function is the table and the filter is itself a table so here we have provided uh, the, the first parameter is the table name and the other is the expression that we need to get all the rows from the sales table where sales amount is greater than 3000 so then uh, this filter will give one filter table to some x as a first parameter where sales amount is greater than 3000 and then we have to uh, multiply sales amount with fright for those lines where uh, this condition is fulfilled right so let's go to the report view so here you have to see I have uh, dragged and dropped um, total sales so what is total sales here total sales is the sum x sales and sales plus sales pride okay here is a plus so we, we need to change uh, filter sale here so what we have to do is plus 
10 plus okay so what is the the current filter context is there any fil current filter context is available here there is no current filter context total sales mean we are getting all the sales that is available in the sales table so what we can do now we can add country so now we, we can see uh, sales by country like Australia, Canada, France and here you can see different uh, sales depending on the country so this is the filter context country country is the filter context that is being applied on total sales and we can add one slicer here like uh, customers and we can add uh, gender So here you can see for the Australia is 191 752 and if I click female and see 191 decreases to 106782. So now there are two filter contacts being applied on total sales. First is the gender female and the other is the country. Here you can see right. So now let's add our um, filter cell where we have used the filter function so what we can do is we can add filter cell here and here you can see we have uh, here we have total sale 191 and here we have 58 and 57 and if I click uh, female and see it is being decreased to 21823.62 and so on. So the filter function does not change the filter context. Filter function works under the current filter context. So what is the current filter context now for the for the filter sale? For this filter cell, we have the current filter context. First is coming from the gender. The second coming from the um, Australia. So this, these two are the current filter context. And then we have added uh, one more. Um, then then we, we have used a filter function here. Here you can see. Uh, the the first is coming from the gender the second from the country and the third we have filtered by using the filter function uh, like a filter and then we are getting all the sales rows that fulfill this condition so these three things are being applied on filter sale so this is how filter function works in ducks so filter function works under the current filter context and it does not change any filter context so how we can change the the filter context we will learn about uh, this part in the next video